This year's Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to Alana Spey, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger, whose collective works have carried out that test, establishing to most people's satisfaction that Einstein's conventional view of reality is ruled out, that quantum entanglement is real, and more than that, have shown that quantum mechanics and entanglement can be leveraged for applications ranging from quantum computing to quantum teleportation, spectacular results. Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about Nobel Prize in Physics. So the Nobel Prize for Physics 2022 is being shared by three scientists, Alain Aspect of France, John F. Clauser, USA, and Anton Zielinger of Austria, for their work on quantum mechanics. The three won for experiments with entangled photons, establishing violation of Bell inequalities and pioneering quantum information science. Now the three conducted a series of experiments on something called entangled quantum states, where two separate particles behave like a single unit. Their path-breaking results will have implications in the field of quantum computers, quantum networks and secure quantum encrypted communication. John Clauser built an apparatus that emitted two entangled photons at a time, each towards a filter that tested their polarization. Now, the result was a clear violation of a Bell inequality and agreed with the predictions of quantum mechanics. Alain Aspect developed a setup to close an important loophole. He was able to switch the measurement settings after an entangled pair had left its source, so the setting that existed when they were emitted could not affect their result. Now, Anton Zielinger researched entangled quantum states. His research group has demonstrated a phenomenon called quantum teleportation, which makes it possible to move a quantum state from one particle to one at a distance. Now, if we talk about quantum computing, quantum computing means storing and processing information using individual atoms, ions, electrons or photons. They run faster, can process a vast number of calculations simultaneously and also can do intensive number crunching task much more efficiently than the fastest comparable computers. If we talk about the working of quantum computing, it involves application of quantum physics to computer science. Now quantum physics is a branch of physics that deals with world of atoms and smaller or subatomic particles inside them. A quantum computer does not operate on bits but instead on quantum bits aka qubits. Now when we say qubits, now, just as a bit is a unit information in the digital world, a quantum bit, aka qubit, is unit of information in the quantum world. A digital bit can either be a 0 or a 1, but a qubit can also be both 0 and 1 at the same time. That is a property called superposition. Following two principles enables quantum computers to manipulate enormous combinations of states at once. Superposition of states and entanglement. So, let us discuss about these two. First of all, when we say entanglement, it is an extremely strong correlation that exists between quantum particles. So strong, in fact, that two or more quantum particles can be inextricably linked in perfect unison, even if separated by great distances. Another one was superimposition. That means the ability of a quantum system to be in multiple states at the same time. That is, something can be here and there or up and down at the same time. Now, because of superposition, a phenomenon known as quantum parallelism allows exponentially many such computations to take place simultaneously, thus vastly increasing the speed of computation. So, this was all about the topic. Now, let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the statements regarding quantum computing. First, quantum computing means storing and processing information using individual atoms, ions, electrons or photons. Second, a digital bit can either be a 0 or a 1, but a qubit can also be both 0 and 1 at the same time. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comments section below. So, with regard to quantum computing, both of the given statements are correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.